a one part bid, you could be sitting here with 12 points. Let's do it this way. One spade, your partner bids two hearts. Okay, over a two level overcall, you have an opening hand yourself and support for his hearts. What do you do? Game. You've got a game, just bid four. Okay. He's got to have 12, right? Yeah. He's got to have an open hand. And here, if you don't have hearts, but you have 12 points, you can use the cubit here, which more or less tells partner you have game, but I don't know where it is yet. But you're not telling them. Well, here, here actually, forget that, because the, the cubit in um, an overcall always says you have support. Okay. Well, yeah. Two heart bid. Um, That's an overcall. Yeah. Would you... Should, I, should you have six hearts or... Well, we've said five. five. I, pref I prefer six. You should have two of the top three honors and you should have a, an opening hand. I just wanted since you jumped yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, so if you're advancer, if you're the advancer and you have an opening hand, you know your partner has an opening hand to be able to do that. So you should be in game somewhere. Okay? So then you could just bid game? You could just jump to game if you have those hearts. Okay. All right, so that's when you have support for your partner, whatever suits my oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it looks so good. Some number of no trump, and it's on here. With eight to eleven high card points, you would get one no 
bottom, it's right at the bottom. And it's very precise. The limits have been raised a little bit because the person can overcall with fewer points. If you've got 12 to 15, you get the two no trump. And with 16 points, just get three no trump. Okay? And it's only if you've got And you have stoppers, stoppers in the opponent's suit. Yeah, okay. for sure. You, you, anytime, this is just a, this is a very good rule. Anytime you bid no trump after your opponent, unless it's some conventional bid, anytime you bid no trump after your opponents have named a suit, you are guaranteeing a stopper in that suit at any point. Okay? All right. So we went over quite a bit of that, quite a bit there. There's a lot to assimilate. So let's try some hands and see what happens. So in this instance, the bidding is called one club. Your partner overcalled one spade. The responder passed. Now it's your turn to bid holding these hands. Let's apply these rules and see what we get. All right? So your partner overcalled a spade. How many spades does he have? Five. Five. At least five, right? And how many points? Eight. 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 Ten to seventeen. Okay. All right. Do you have support in spades? Yes. Yes. Okay. How many points do you have? Eight. You're the dummy. You're the dummy now, remember? Eight. Eight. Nine. Seven, eight, nine, right? So, so what's your bid? Three spades. Two spades. Just, just been two spades. Single raise. Six, six to ten points, support, raising one. Okay? How about here? Ten points, eight points. Ten points. Ten points. Two spades again. No, I go cubit. Two points. Who said cubit? Well, plus you got dummy points. Yeah, you got five, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Did you see where I get these three? Mm -hmm. like, three dummy mm -hmm. points there. So you can get two clubs of that. Okay, that's the that's the cubit that we talked about. All right. So what would you, plus you have support in his suit. So what, so the advantage of that is he knows you have a bigger hand. Than just so, it. depending on his point count, he could just go to game? He could. Okay. Okay? All right, how about here? Your partner over mm -hmm. called a spade, you got what? Fifteen. Four spades. Well, Four spades. Yeah. Okay. Fifteen. Yeah, you've got the all dummy points. Where's he got the... I had a hand like that. I'm two spades. Yeah, you, you could have been two spades, but I think they probably just passed this. You, that, it's up to personal style. Two spades is fine here. Or pass. You only have you only have six points. You're at the very low end. And you know you're not going to get the game. What's what's the point of raising it? I mean you can come back in maybe later in a preemptive style. All right, how about right here? Two bid. Uh, one spade. Two club. Well, how many points do you have? Well, you got a good five card suit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. This is over, by the way, I'm doing this wrong here. This one now is over. Oh, okay. oh, okay. Okay. Oh, that oh, that makes well, a difference. It, makes it, makes a lot of it, does, it does make a difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's make a difference. But they weren't paying attention. Yeah, so let's go one club, one part, pass. Now it's your turn. Now here, this is my fault. You don't have the dummy points, you only have five points. Because this trumps it. So you just pass this one. Okay. All right, now he overcalled a heart. You don't, you don't have a, any support, right? Uh -uh. But you've got some points. You've got ten points, right? Eleven, Eleven. Eleven points. Eleven. So then you can bid this. In fact, you should. You just bid one spade, and your partner should bid again. And then he might have three. He might have three. Who knows? Yeah. Okay. How about here? 
Okay, you have you don't have support. All right, how many high cards does she have? Nine. Nine. Plus. Nine. You've got a balanced hand. You can do one no trump. You could do one no trump here. You've got a stopper in clubs. Thank you. You have good clubs. You've got in the point range there, so you've got a balanced hand, no support in a suit, and a stopper in your suit, so you can do one no trump. Well, that's that's a direct one no trump overcall. So, oh. so we're talking. This is the advance. Oh, this is the advance. Right. Okay. This was the over. I mean, the overcall, okay. and this is the advance. All right. All right. So let's just review real quickly the uh, with support. Okay. With support, six to ten points, you can make a single raise. In fact, you should. Okay. So your your partner overcalls too hard. One heart, and you have six to ten points, you should be two hearts. Alright? If you have, if your partner overcalls at the two level, you need more points to do the single raise. Because you're going to be at the three level, so you need eight, eight to ten. Alright? Because eight at least gives you a chance for gaining if your partner has a higher. If your hand is even stronger than that, and you have support, that's when you make the cubic. Okay? So, Think about it. Strong hand, support, cubic. Okay? All right. And then without support, without support, uh, you've got to have a stronger hand to even build. If you don't have at least eight points and you don't have support, you pass. Okay? All right, one more section here, then we'll take a little break and play some hands. Okay, in these instances, you're the advancer. And your partner has overcalled at the two level. Okay. So, opener bid one spade, your partner bid two hearts. What's his hand look like? Opening hand. Five hearts. At least five hearts. Should have two of the top three honors. He's got a good hand, right? Strong hearts. All right. So, you know he has more points, so you can respond with less. What about here? You got six points. You don't have any support. Uh, one no. You don't have enough for one no. You need eight for one no. This is a pass. No support. No five card suit. Less than eight points. Pass. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, then that's no five. It's always been three spades to overcall, right? So you have to go. No, it's two spades. It would be two hearts. Two hearts. So let's, so hearts. So let's say he opened with a minimum hand, or overcalled with a minimum hand. Okay? 12 points. Okay, you've got, you got 11 here, or more, so he's going to bid three hearts saying, partner, I don't have enough for game on my own. And you take us there if you think we should be there. Okay? All right. But if you thought you should be there, wouldn't you have bid just four. bid it? He, he just bid it. Yeah. I mean, you could, you could technically, well, you could technically just go. So if you get three hearts, you're basically saying he probably has no more than 15 points. Say that again? If he did three hearts, he'd have no more than Well, you can have as few as 11. Yeah. But I so mean, if he yeah, has... You partner the... The, the, the opener? The overcall. Overcall. If the overcall had what? But go. Um, he has 11? No, no, the, um, the person who did the two hearts. Okay. You know, That's the overcall. Yeah. That's the overcall. Yeah. So if you did three hearts, you could assume that he has less than 15 points. Yes. So, like, so when you come to points... If you have yeah, he's saying he has a minimum hand. He knows you have 11, and he's got really even 14. Yeah. He should just bid game. Okay? I, I don't understand when you would do a cue bet and when you would just jump to game. When you just jump to game? Well, if you know you have enough points for game, you can. I mean, technically, you could jump to game, but, but you may be missing something if he's, if he's got uh, real strong values. There's nothing wrong with just going forward. Well, actually there is, because he could have, you only have 11 points, don't you? 7 and 11. Yeah, you don't know for sure your, your game in this in this instance. So you bid two spades saying I've got 11 points at least. And depending on what he has, you can decide if it should be a game. Okay. If you had 13 or 14 points, then you just go to the game, like we did here, wherever it was. Okay. Okay? The upper limit is 17. If you have more than that, you're going to do something else, which we'll talk about next week. At the two level, you need 12 to 17 points. You need an opening hand. You need a good five card suit. I emphasize the word good. Okay? Two of the top three honors is what I consider good. Uh, at the two level, I prefer six cards, particularly in the minors, unless you have something as strong as, as that. Okay? If, you can also overcall one no trump. If you have a stopper in the bid, the opener's bid suit, okay, just recognize that the auction will start getting competitive. Be careful you don't go too high and get double. Okay, but I heard somebody say if you're not if you're not uh, doubling enough and their partner and your opponents are making it, you're not you're not uh, doubling as often as you should or something like that. Most people won't double hardly at all. Yes. Okay. One spade, two hearts. Yes. Now, in order to overcall, you have to go to two unless you're in no trump. Yeah, you can overcall one no trump with this hand. But so you have to do two hearts. Yes. And to do heart two, to do two hearts, you have to have this point rank. So, instance, if this was your hand, if this was your hearts. If this was, if this was, I mean, this was, you're sitting here. You can't go to two hearts with this because you only have 10 points, not enough points, even though you have the five points. Okay, well, I didn't understand where one and two says one level, two level, but you're yeah. not really going. Yeah, you're bidding two. You're bidding two. two. Yeah. So if it goes one diamond, one heart, to make this bid, you only need the top to 10 to 17. Mm -hmm. To make this bid, you need an opening hand. Okay. You can't make this bid with hearts that look like that in 10 points. If you have the 12 high card points, over the, do you still bid the one heart over the one diamond? If you have 12 high card points? Yeah. Uh, yeah, or, or you could possibly double, which we'll talk about next, next okay. week. Right. Well, yes. or when, if, you did, if, if you did more than one level, then you're... Well, yeah, like, yeah, exactly. And we'll get into that okay. Okay. the week after that. A jump, generally, by the responder, is a weak bid. Oh. Okay. 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 
not the responder, the advance. Okay. Yes. Yeah. If if you if you are the overcaller, and, and or if you're the second person and you double, are you the overcaller? Yes. If if you goes, you didn't get you it, suit, you're still the over. Yeah, over you're calling the overcaller. And so your partner is oh. still the advancer. Correct. Okay. 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 Yes. If, so if you if if it, if Vinny goes one diamond, mm -hmm. then you've got fifteen points. Okay. You would still have yeah. one heart. When would you jump that to two? Because I'm a little confused. Well, once again, we're getting ahead ahead of ourselves. Generally, a jump in that in that position is a preemptive bid. It's a weekend. So it's just like when you open one park with 18 points in your hand. You're, you're telling your partner by the overcall of one heart, right here, one diamond to one heart, mm -hmm. that you have five hearts and your hand is in this range right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can have as many as 17 points, but you don't need to tell him right there. Okay, you can double as an overcall? Well, we're, we'll talk about takeout doubles next week, but takeout double just real briefly your right hand opponent opens and you've got an opening hand, you can double. That's a takeout double. Many of you use those um, and we'll talk about those. That is an overcall. Um, it, it seems. A bid by the overcaller. It yeah. seems like normally the responder is, is the one who determines where we're going, but the overcaller apparently is giving the. the the, I mean, the advancer is giving is not because the advancer is giving the 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 overcaller knowledge of what he has. No, in, his hand. In, a, in a way, you're right there because the uh, the overcaller does a little bit more about the combined. Yeah. Right. Think of the overcaller as a describer. This person is describing her hand very very specifically to you. Okay. And, and you can actually as an advancer. You can use that and whittle down the bridge. Yes. So on the example, well, mind you, where you've got one diamond, one heart, um, what if as, as the advancer you have spades? Well, once again, if you have a new suit, you need at least, like this, you need at least eight points at the one level to bid them and five of them. Okay, that's, that's on the sheet here. Okay. Uh, at at least point, point two with out support. Mm -hmm. yeah. At the two level, you need at least ten. Eight. Ten. Eight. To the one level. One level, you can do it with a little, you know, so fewer points. I usually don't do it unless I have two. Okay. Does this make some sense? Okay. All right, it's really pretty straightforward, particularly for the person making the overcall. It gets a little more confusing for the advance right there. All right, but when you're playing the hints tonight, if you're in a position to make an overcall, just think clearly, you know, do I really want to do this? Does my hand meet the requirements? And, uh, because as you, as you keep playing with the same partner, you want to make sure your partner can trust what you say and do the same thing every time. Okay, let's take five or ten minutes and we'll play some hands.